five second rule, when you repeat it, becomes a starting ritual that triggers you to act with confidence. Because when you understand the power of a five second decision, everything in your life will change. You've set yourself up for success. This is an idea that you can use. It's free. It's backed by science. More than 8 million people around the world have discovered it. And, you know, you're talking about the number of people. We've heard from more than 100,000 people in 80 countries that are using this rule. We know of 11 people who have stopped themselves from killing themselves. There's a guy, Steve, that wrote to us who was a veteran. He was suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. He boarded a ferry overseas with the intention to jump over. He walked over to the railing and his inner wisdom kicked in. In that moment, the five second rule, five, four, three, two, one, counting backwards, moved away from the railing, asked for help, saved his life. His story has inspired countless other people that have heard me in the speeches that I give around the world about this one tool. And so, you know, the thing, the, the thing that's so cool about this, and, and I should tell you the science behind it, because I'm gonna be honest with you, it is stupid. Had I ever thought that I would find myself eight years after discovering it, spending my days telling people about the five second rule. First of all, I would have picked a different name because it reminds <laughs> you of the one where you have to like pick up food within five seconds. It was my secret weapon. This was something I did. I never intended to tell anybody because I went from getting up on time and waking up on time to shaking up my entire life. Because when you understand the power of a five second decision and you understand that you always have a choice to go from autopilot to decision maker, everything in your life will change. You will be a different negotiator, you will be different in sales, you will be unstoppable in the gym, because you will realize the amount of garbage that you put in the way of your hopes, of your dreams, of your potential, of your confidence, of your courage. Everything comes down to the decisions that you make. We all know what to do. None of us know how to make ourselves do it. So um, I started researching it. Why does something so stupid work? Why? Why does something so silly create such powerful and profound change? Well, here's why. The rule is a form of metacognition. Metacognition is a fancy pants terms that means something real simple. You can outsmart your own brain in furtherance of goals. There are tricks that you can use that actually outsmart the tricks your brain plays on you in furtherance of a higher purpose. We all know this. You can, you can restrain yourself if uh, you're in a situation that calls for it. You can jump into a raging river to save your dog or your kid. You can direct yourself in ways if it's important to you. And so the rule, what it does, is it does something really remarkable. When you count backwards, five, four, three, two, one, what you're actually doing is you're interrupting what researchers call habit loops that get encoded as, as closed loop patterns in your basal ganglia. That's the part of the brain where your feelings, where your emotions, every habit that you have, which is nothing more than behavior that you repeat that you don't even think about. And so when you go five, four, three, two, one, it interrupts what's going on here that's spinning without you thinking, and it moves and awakens your prefrontal cortex. So when you hit one, your habit has been interrupted. So you've interrupted self-doubt, you've interrupted maybe snapping at your kids, you've interrupted the desire to grab for a drink, you've interrupted uh, procrastination. You've also, by counting backwards, done an action, it's awakened your prefrontal cortex. That is the part of the brain that you need that's awake when you're changing behavior, when you're learning new things. When you hit one, it's also a prompt. So in the language of research, uh, you'll hear people talk about um, starting rituals. 
That is, that is something that's proven to help you learn a new habit. The five second rule, when you repeat it, becomes a starting ritual that triggers you to act with confidence, that triggers you that this is a moment for courage, that triggers you to shift gears. And because you've also done the manual work of awakening the part of the brain that you need to change, you've set yourself up for success. It doesn't work if you count up, because you can keep going. And also counting up doesn't require focus. If you count backwards, five, four, three, two, one, it, again, awakens the prefrontal cortex and it prompts you to move. When you start to use it and then you read about it, you'll see that, that it's being used all over the place. They use it in the armed services in order to align troops and get them to start an exercise. They use it in elementary schools, five, four, three, two, one. Because it requires you to focus. It's not a habit. It will become a habit that prompts you to have confidence and courage. But in the beginning, it interrupts patterns of behavior that you do on autopilot. It helps you assert control, and it teaches you how to become the kind of person that moves from thinking about something to actually doing it.